So, if rats grow to the size of sheep, people who are afraid of these rodents won't dare leave their homes. In fact, everyone will feel like that. In big cities, almost all rats live in the sewers. After increasing in size, there won't be enough space for rats in the damp, dark pipes. And one night, they'll all be out in the streets, and our world will plunge into chaos. I'm also guessing counting sheep rats at night when you're trying to go to sleep will not be terribly effective. Most people work, eat, socialize, and enjoy life during the day. We live in tall buildings, surrounded by cleanliness and light. In a sense, rats are the exact opposite. When night falls, the rats wake up. They live below us. Sewers, pipelines, subways, abandoned stations – these places are full of rodents in every big city. They can hold their breath underwater for several minutes, and their smooth coat allows them to swim quickly through pipes. There have been many cases in the world when rats crawled through the pipes of multi-story buildings and private houses and got out of the toilet. Sometimes this happened when there was a person in the bathroom. These fast, sharp-toothed animals live not only in large pipes, but in smaller, narrow ones too. And now, they're growing in size! Those small pipes can't take it and burst, spilling rats to the surface. And the big ones can't support the weight of thousands of suddenly huge rats and break. The city's complex water supply system breaks down in minutes. Rats. In many houses, rats won't come out through a toilet hole. They just knock out the tiles in the bathroom and break the sewage completely. Imagine you hear a loud crash from the bathroom, go out to see what happened, and behold, a huge hole in your restroom. You freeze. Two glittering eyes are staring at you from the darkness. And then, a monster the size of a sheep flees into another room. You climb out of the house through the window, call for help, but instead find the city in chaos. Pipes are exploding and bursting in the city streets. Grimy water flows out from maintenance holes. The stench is unbearable. Millions of people have lost access to water in their homes. The scale of the disaster is evaluated at billions of dollars. People run away and huge traffic jams form on the roads. It's bad enough here, but it's even worse down underground. The entire sewer system is flooded. Waste, cold, and hot water flow from the broken pipes. Being down here is unsafe. Up above, the ground trembles. But it's not an earthquake. Huge rodents are scampering out of maintenance holes in an endless stream. If you fly a helicopter over the city right now, the streets will seem to be heavily flooded with dirty water. But if you look closely, you'll see it's not water at all. It's a sea of rats. Their reproduction rate is mind-blowing. One couple can give birth to 14 ratlings in a single month. In another two months, those newborns are mature enough to reproduce themselves. In a year, that makes 14,000 rats born from a single couple. And this happens in the sewers for centuries. It's impossible to count the number of rats on Earth. They're very good at hiding in dark and damp places. But just in New York, there are about 2 million of these animals. Now imagine that those 2 million become as big as sheep and come out of the sewers. Regular-sized rats squeak loudly already. These beasts make so much noise you can't go out without earplugs. You can hear this horrid sound even from the skyscrapers' roofs. The next piece of bad news is that you can't hide from them. Rats are excellent climbers, scaling trees, phone poles, and slippery sewer pipes. Their clawed feet have grown larger and stronger now. An average rat can run at 8 miles per hour. Now they can run as fast as horses. At night, these animals used to crawl out of the sewers to find food in the city's garbage. Now they need more. So the worst thing about these rodents is their teeth. A rat has really strong and sharp incisors that never stop growing. They need to gnaw on stuff to grind their teeth down. Aluminum, wood, plastic, rats can gnaw on almost anything. And their teeth are now the size of a kitchen knife. They can literally eat the whole city. They grind their teeth on trees and demolish parks, make holes in cars, and break fire hydrants. Fences and doors are not an obstacle in their way. 
Rats run into restaurants, dwellings, sneak through windows, and turn kitchens and supermarkets upside down. Lots of people are afraid of just the sight of the rat's long pink tail. This appendage helps them keep their balance and maintain body temperature. But now, this tail acts like a whip. Rodents wave it side to side and easily knock people down. Rats are very smart. Their whiskers help them scan surroundings and navigate. They easily find the exit from any maze and don't get into traps. If you give this rodent a poison piece of food, it'll take a small bite, feel bad, and never fall for this bait again. That's why no poison can take down these tricky creatures. Also, rats are, in many ways, very tenacious and hardy animals. Their eyes can see not only what's happening to the sides and in front of them, but also above them. This helps them escape from birds of prey. But this doesn't mean they're afraid of all birds. Rats can hunt pigeons and sparrows. In some countries, they reduce populations of rare species by stealing eggs from nests. Now, any bird can become dinner for the huge rodent. Rats have excellent hearing. They recognize high-frequency sounds that a human can't hear. If the huge beast starts chasing you, you can't run from it, even if you hide really well. It can hear you breathing. But the worst thing is that they carry many diseases. Rats rake around in garbage, waste, and places where a lot of harmful bacteria live. The animals become infected and transmit all this to humans. Now, when the rats are no longer afraid of us, they're spreading around the world much faster. They don't need to hide in sewers anymore. If we can't handle them, we'll have to go underground. When the rats get to the docks, they assault the ships, gnaw their way through the decks, and eat everything that can be eaten. Sailors scatter in fear. Someone turns on the engine of their boat and tries to escape by water. But a few beasts manage to get on board. Wherever this boat goes, it'll spread the rat threat there. The struggle of humanity against this vermin tide can last for decades. But there's still hope thanks to the human's best friend. For centuries, dogs have helped people fight rats. They're skilled hunters. And to up the ante, people have even bred out a dog that's specifically trained to combat the nasty rodents. Over the years, rats have developed an innate fear of dogs. Now, imagine a huge wave of gray beasts. They bring down everything in their path, their squeaks drowning out the screams of people in car horns. They've taken up the entire street and are moving forward. Suddenly, a small dog appears before the crowd. It fearlessly stands in the middle of the road and looks at the approaching tide. The rats also notice the dog and stop. The squeaking dwindles and everything goes quiet. Then a short and loud bark. The vermin back off in confusion and start running. Seeing this, the people come out of their hideouts with their dogs in tow. Together, they manage to drive the threat out of the city. But everyone knows it's not the end yet. There's no cheering in the crowd. People are staring at the horizon, intense and grim. But in a minute, they see only the good things the rats have done. The city streets are clean. The rodents ate and carried away all the garbage. Regular-sized rats help to get rid of organic waste, which save cities from the stench. Being this big, they've cleaned out most landfills and trash cans. But people know rats will come back. Not because of hunger or to try to capture the city again. Garbage will accumulate in and around the city. And where there is garbage, there are rats. Rats. <laughs>